Okay, uh, so I'm almost done now with my armies. You see, I've placed them out there. Uh, so yeah, the standard army is five uh, sort of battalions of three thousand regular infantry and one of mobile artillery. This is artillery weaker than normal artillery, but uh, much faster. And I usually always value mobility. Uh, so yeah, I'm not completely done yet, but I got a very interesting situation here. Uh, so, uh, as you can see first here, France have tried to offer me an alliance. Uh, now I'm actually very tempted to take them up on that offer, at least for now I want to be allied to France. It will make it hard later for me to sort of reduce their relations enough for me to go to war. Uh, but uh, but it's nice to have that sort of guarantee. So I think I will be accepting that. Now here is the inter very interesting thing is that I got an event border incident. That gives me an acquire state cause spell in Belgium. Uh, no, they only have one state, which I can. They have two states I can take. Uh, three actually. They have one province in Zealand and one in Rhineland, that's Luxembourg, and they have Valonia. So I can take one of these three provinces with this cause of spell, you know. Uh, I think borders will look best if I take Luxembourg, but honestly, uh, Valonia has such a lush industry. Uh, you see Belgium here are the fourth most industrious country in the world. And uh, yes, yeah, so uh, so as you can see, they also have twelve industry points. That's like uh, almost a fourth, actually, actually uh, just a fourth of my industry. So I will be increasing it a lot if I take Valonia. Uh, now the problem here is that they are in Britain's share of influence. No, uh, the United Kingdom does not have an alliance with them, but they can intervene in the war, in which case I have to make peace directly with the United Kingdom, and that is a very big problem because taking Valonia costs a lot of so-called war score in this game, and uh, in, in normal wars I can just peace out Belgium and the United Kingdom separately, but if they intervene they will do so with the so-called status quo cause spell, in which case I have to negotiate with the United Kingdom. Uh, I can't ever negotiate with Belgium in such a war. Uh, so that is a very big problem. Uh, there is also the fact that I will be getting a lot of with border with France, which will be harder to protect. Uh, that said, I don't actually need to uh, protect uh, this Belgian area here. It also gives me a larger opportunity to sort of flank uh, the Germans so I can sort of just trap their armies here in the Rhineland area and then just send like I can have a cavalry brigade that I just sort of send around into Paris. Uh, no, uh, if I do that uh, uh, there's a high high possibility of me winning the war, or at least giving them a lot of war exhaustion. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, for now I will accept their alliance, uh, and I'll, I can actually now see their territory, uh, so I can see their armies. This will be very helpful because I can reduce my relations with them before I dissolve my alliance, so I can have live updates on their army movements up until about a year before I go to war. It takes about a year to justify. Uh, but yes, it's a free cast spell and it's usable on a very, very profitable nation. So I'll just go ahead and do like this. Uh, place my armies on their borders. Yes, I tried to ally Brunswick. I've now allied every German minor state here, so I can call them to all wars. I, they will be very helpful against Austria. 
Uh, as you can see here, I have a defensive line here. No, you may spot this hole here, and I have sort of an army merger here, and this is for the armies I will mobilize later, so they all gather into here, so I have a strong reinforcement for the nearby provinces here, I already have doubled up my army. Uh, uh, and the plan for the Austria war is to s declare and let them sort of cross my borders, uh, so they will waste away their armies. And then I can flank them, I can send these guys here down through Saxony and, and sort of move them down here so I can trap some armies here. Also helped by these guys in the Rhineland that I can move across Bavaria. Uh, even though they're part of Austria's sphere, they will most likely not join them if I declare now anyway. Uh, the problem is the longer I wait, the higher the chance that Austria makes an alliance with Bavaria, and if they do that, I suddenly have a much, much more powerful enemy here to deal with. Bavaria is actually very powerful. Uh, you see here from the population, it's almost a third of mine, so uh, that is very problematic. I'm already justifying for war with Austria, it will take 168 days. Now I can start a war with Belgium and sort of just have these guys here, uh, they will be enough. And then I can start war with Austria and just send these guys to reinforce uh, later in the war. Yes, actually I think I will do that, so in which case I will have to declare on Belgium right away. No, I really hope that the Great Britain does not intervene here. It costs 80 war score, 41 full occupied, and I have no chance, I think, of getting 40 war score out of uh, the Great Britain uh, because, because they are so large and so impossible to invade. Well, I can call all my allies, and interestingly, France is put up as very likely to join. Uh, I do fear that they may become war leader, uh, but on the other side, they may actually be very they may actually be very detrimental to Great Britain. Uh, so I can prevent them from joining, perhaps. So I will do that, and I hope that Belgium doesn't have a lot of hidden armies. Uh, see they have 10 guys there and 15 guys there, that's 45, 75, let's see, 6 times 5, that's 30. Uh, so I have more than them, but not a lot. Uh, I might want to bring in, no, oh, I don't need reinforcements, I have my allies in France, never mind. Uh, war on. Everyone's joining, Britain's not intervening right away, but they might join in later. Oh right, Britain needs can only intervene when I have positive war score. Uh, so this will be very tricky. Okay, so I was detected in my justification against uh, Austria. That kind of sucks. Okay, uh, they are moving. I have no idea where they're moving. Let's see. France at least is moving in on Belgian territory. Uh, and it's being scared away there. Alright, they mobilized a lot of new armies. Uh, and here the German hordes come. It's always very enjoyable to see all my German allies as they just swoop down upon my enemies. Uh, okay, let's just wait and see where these guys move. Some into Brussels, some down there. France is not moving her Paris army. Okay. What I will do now is that I will send in reinforcements. I see Belgium is also sending in reinforcements, a lot of them actually. So they arrive on the 16th of February, that's next in our... Uh, no, I do like this, so that they pass, let them come there, because then they won't be scared off when I do this. And with this I will be brought up to... seven. 65, so actually I need to pull in all my armies to defeat the Belgian one. And you can see here, I'm in the green, I'm superior, I also have superior technology. That army is being kept up a little bit by France's minor armies. They're not sending a lot to help me, that kind of sucks, but yes, I will win this battle. And no, I have a point of war 
scores. So that means written might uh, intervene. That kind of sucks. Okay, I just need to uh, uh, take up the message that gives me a notification whenever I win or I have actually disabled that one. So I do the reset default thing. That's just the simplest. Okay, so I'm chasing the Belgian army around. I just finished the experimental ra railroads thing. Uh, that was very good. Now I can have more army tech if I want, or I can have. I think I actually want this because getting education efficiency early on really sort of helps getting that low literacy up. So yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be focusing now on just brute forcing uh, through Belgium to take down their armies. Uh, okay, it's now splitting up. Uh, very good, very good. And that one is moving into our run in July 23rd, 24th. Excellent. Then I won't be meeting that army. Then I can just split them up like this. Uh, and you see my German allies there are very helpful in uh, sort of just occupying stuff and doing whatever I can divert armies to. Okay, that army there is now uh, lesser in numbers and might lose. Oh, fuck it. Uh, this is not very good. Uh, the Belgian army here moving in on the uh, meaning I can't chase those guys, so suddenly. I can't keep up the initiative against them. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep chasing around whatever I can't chase. In. Oh, uh, the Netherlands are also warring Belgium. And that kind of stinks because then I might not be able to occupy enough to get the war score I need. Uh, let's see, this is problematic. And they're also occupying stuff very fast. Uh, so. What I need to do now is that I will put a very small army in here. This will let me leave the occupation so that even if the Netherlands moves in forces, I really want to occupy. I will also leave one here in Brussels. Uh, France is in my war, so their occupied stuff counts towards my war score. And uh, yeah, so I will move everyone into here and then the Belgian army will be forced to retreat there. It can't retreat into provinces with my uh, units in it. So I'll do that and then I will take off that and chase it into our land. And uh, from there I will chase the remnants most likely into Luxembourg. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Oh, right. Fuck it, they have an army there and they're winning. Uh, not good, not good, not good. Uh, I'm also losing some forces on this and I don't like that. I need everything I can get from the Austria war. This, oh right, no they could send a chase into there. Uh, I need to rescue my guys in Brussels now. Um, they are not doing so well. Let's divert our arm here. And uh, yes, the Netherlands are helping there. Good. Uh, this is the end of Belgium as we know it. Now for. Okay, there's. Uh, I'll just put one into Luxembourg and then I'll put the remaining, remaining armies away to avoid attrition. I don't want attrition because. Early in the game, your soldiers really, really die from attrition. You can see here my maximum number of brigades is dropping very quickly. Uh, the reason for this is uh, simply that military hospitals aren't as advanced at this time due to, you know, I don't have the required technology. Uh, and this, uh, this means that when people get injured in battle or from attrition, there's a much higher chance that the population in the province that recruited them actually decreases. Uh, sometimes you just lose the guys in the regiment and you don't lose the population because they just go to hospital and get well again. 
so yeah, so early game you lose a lot of guys to attrition and you really, really have to watch for that. Otherwise you can just replenish them later. Uh, here you, uh, no, I just have to actually wait for the population to grow again. Yes, and I got the invention that allows me to build railroads. I'll start doing that then. You see the Germans, they are finished with their jobs. They're going home. Uh, let me just switch to... Oh, there I got the castle spell in Austria. Not a moment too late. I'll just pause it while I build my infrastructure, as you can see here. Uh, red means I can't build railroads with my current technology. Blue means I can't, and yellow stripes means I am currently building. Red stripes means you can build railroads, but you're also building something else. Now I can, as a great power, I can actually build railroads in other countries. So I am doing this in the German minor states here, uh, which means that when I s eventually inherit them, I will actually have railroads which will be very nice okay in preparation for the austria war i actually have to mobilize uh, so uh, uh, let me just make sure that it's okay uh, you guys should move up there to avoid attrition uh, see i have a gather point there in berlin and one here and one in the rhineland uh, so uh, yes, I will now mobilize, and if Austria are smart, they will do the same. Okay, so now I suddenly have a lot of armies, um, a very large one here in Berlin actually, so I'm just going to move that already. Uh, these guys are also huge, so I will just move them out of the way. Let's see, Austria, do you mobilize? No, because you are a stupid, stupid nation. Okay, this here is too large. I will move extra guys in, actually in here. Then I will declare on them for Bohemia right away, uh, to avoid them calling any allies for now. I will, of course, call all mine. Okay, France, they will not join me in this war. Uh, and I don't care, uh, France helped me with the Belgium war and that was really all I needed them for. Uh, and France will usually not declare any wars against me. Uh, uh, anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty good there. Um, um, yeah, that's... Just going to prevent attrition here. Uh, so you guys, there you go, larger army there, uh, yeah, okay, so now I'm just going to play the waiting game, let's see, France, of course, no, did not join, uh, Austria will now counter mobilize, no, they will not actually. Okay, I know that's quite weird. Uh, I'll just wait and see what they do. Uh, uh, they probably don't mobilize because I'm at... Um, okay, there they did. Uh, okay, so they have no mobilized and will start moving their armies into my territory. You can see... Actually, I don't, they don't have a lot of armies yet, only 60. Uh, I have 104. So I can actually overwhelm them quite easily, I think. Uh, okay, I will actually just send down my flanking force into Bavaria to just station them there in preparation. And uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, Belgium here being occupied slowly. They are offering me Bologna now. I'm not going to go for anything more than that right now. Um, we'll just sort of not let the uh, Netherlands conquer the rest. I uh, actually, uh, uh, I do want Luxembourg, but at the same time, I'm afraid that Britain might intervene. Now that I'm at war with uh, Austria and France, is I think they're out of this war here. 
not exactly sure uh, they are not but uh, they will be soon so I will accept Valonia uh, and uh, as you can see here I have a lot of lovely new territory and now I need to open up the factories here they start closed uh, so yeah uh, that one was probably unprofitable so I should leave it uh, if I shift click here I will expand all factories that are near full at near full capacity uh, actually yeah so show empty states I just need to see if there's any states with no factories mm, okay but uh, with the current conservative party I have the interventionism uh, economic policy which means I can't actually build factories uh, I have to wait for uh, wait for uh, my capitalists to do that okay so these guys here need reinforcement uh, let's see where did I put those extra guys there and there you guys will assist them down in Minish and you here no you 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 okay uh they lack one okay so ah right right they lack three never mind there you go Okay, I can do a whistle stop tower. This will give me some prestige and lower my poor stratus militancy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, now it's time for war with Austria, and I think I will just start pouring forces into their borders since they don't have a lot of soldiers.